share them today. Looking for some good pictures. I think that was our nine o'clock bar brainstorm last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> All the carpenters probably get salt in a bar. multi-camera. 
case, I think it's, it could be the same, but you just have you know, a camera and a tripod.
know their community is not covering, they'll call us to see if we're covering it. Okay. Um, there's a lot of emphasis on the live coverage for sports, at least for us. We, people still watch a lot of ours, like after the fact, which is not as much. Um, not as not as many people. We might get like I don't know, like a hundred views average on like a really big game, like hockey or football or something like that. The community's really into. But other than that, maybe like 40 or 50 views. So it, it's there, but it's it's not a lot. Yeah, I don't know. Our, our YouTube live stream that we have usually has you know about 100 people watching the game, and but then after the fact, you, you look at it a couple weeks later and you see thousands of views on it. So I'm not sure if it's just kids going back watching that. Yeah, their, their specific thing or what? But it, it's amazing how many people yeah, go they, back and there's the and watch. They, yeah. and I know and I know for us, I've heard from our our coaches and then even our band director says. Oh yeah, I use, I use your halftime show all the time to, to go back and review what the band's doing at halftime <laughs> and, and go with them like, hey look, you guys screwed up here, look, you get the video and, and, and you guys do this better. And one of the hardest parts about sports coverage in Massachusetts is the further you get into playoffs, the less you're able to cover the games. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. Yes. <laughs> The, uh, you know, it was really just the upfront cost of like buying things. Like we just kind of recently got a VMix within the last year, but before that we were just we went to our studio and like, all right, what do, what do we just have? What can we just like cherry rig together so that we can live stream things? Um, and then aside from that, yeah, just the cost of the internet really. Started using Restream.
So I'm curious to see how that's all going to work. So we're going to walk through that. Give you Alex Lamarche from Granby Community Access Media. <laughs>
pretty pretty nifty and it's just a camping battery. Um, people use it for camping and other things. Uh, but we, uh, I follow some uh, FABRB people on YouTube and they use Jack Reed the Power Air stuff. That's actually where I got the idea from. Uh, so, and, and it works for us. Yeah. Um, did anyone have any questions about that? How much is that Jackery? That Jackery? This Jackery, when we bought it, it was around, it was close to the two, it was close to the 200 dollar range, but there's, I think they're lowering their prices right now. <coughs> like the, uh, this one had a single um, output, a DC output, but now you can get um, one of the dual um, DC outputs. How much does the solar panel? Solar panels can be around 250, 270, around there. Well, like I said, 500 bucks to buy. Yeah. 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 It's pretty. It's pretty um, affordable. Um, we've had these for almost a year. We actually just got a lot of this stuff starting to fall, um, and they've been working really well. Um, we did a lot of co-op support. Um, and we wanted to do the Hoyo swimming pool because the uh, Hoyo in South Valley would have, no, Grammy in South Valley go to Hoyo for swimming. Um, so we took the uh, Jack Ray because I don't think that that led that up to pool is a great idea. <laughs> so uh, we just we brought the Jack Ray live stream uh, swimming over there. So. Um, so um, I, I talked a lot. Does anyone have any questions before I really, really dive into this? With the, the last setup, uh, it's usually one cameraman. We usually use one camera because um, we're all we have a small staff and we're all out and about doing stuff with okay. other things, and we're also placing other cameras in different places, uh, especially for um, guard meetings, where we can just have more the board, just press the record button, and we'll pick the camera up later. So usually you like stay in the middle and just pass. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Pretty much what we do. How long does the battery pack last? But also, you know, for the Jackery? Yeah. I believe it'll last, um, it can last the whole game. Yeah. Um, it can last the whole game. Uh, I think once it's like decreased, like charged to begin with, um, it uses half the battery. But don't forget, batteries do degrade over time. Yeah. We get drastic, like, if you cover, like, soccer or football or something in the fall and it's cold and it doesn't last last for No. No, and, and like it says, and even when it's cold, the solar panel does the trick too.
we have to uh, go at a lower bit rate. We, we, go, we pretty much go to ctest.net and determine what we need and we use Cascade's uh, bit rate calculator to determine a bit rate. Um, and it will record a better bit rate, better quality. And we're live streaming. We sometimes have to bog it down. So we can keep it, keep it at this setting, that next 1920 by 1080 um, setting. There were instances where we were we were streaming, we can change the bit rate just in case um, you need to be lower in the farm due to uh, uh, certain uh, what's, what's the going on the other end due to uh, lack lack um, poor stream quality. Uh, people do people don't usually complain about the poor stream quality. They do care about the TV. Do you have a
So you go up here, it's very, it was very, I was very embarrassed I couldn't find it, and I finally found it, because it's so simple. And then you found, I found it was great on linear two left. Um, look at that. Uh, what did you select again? Linear. Uh, there's, there's a couple of them. So, we can play around them. Red? Uh, and retro. Retro. Uh, I think. What, what is the camera set to? Is it 60i? Is it a shooting arrow? It's 60i. Okay. So, retro. Okay, you know, it wasn't great for sport, but. But the point is, you gotta play the settings and you gotta find the right one to uh, de interlace, otherwise, your production will look like mine. Um, so, that's kind of it, kind of a little bit. I, have you had any issues with OBS kind of changing the, the look, like the color profile of, of video? Or is it, I don't know. I not really. Okay. Not really. Um, I really depend on the camera setting. Yeah. I feel like I've had some experiences shooting in darker environments where, you know, it looks okay on the camera, but it's like a couple, a couple times darker in OBS, and then I'm like losing some of the like fidelity of it. Yeah. I mean, like color profile yeah. I mean, I've never really, I've never really messed with them, but. Um, I tried it once and it made it work a little bit. I mean, it was because I'm just not knowing what I was doing. I'm not an expert uh, by all means, but um, it, 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 I'm just showing you guys what we do. Um, but uh, I mean, it's always good practice to look at the screen rather than the camera viewfinder. Um, you're looking at the bigger screen and you actually know what it looks like. Because um, you won't see the deer lacing on this camera. You'll see it here. So, um, with shooting like in the field, like outside of the sun, have you ever had any issues with the computer overheating or anything like that? You know, some people have like those coolers that they put them on. Like, the the computer? No. But when we were using the Sling Studio, and I used the Sling Studio, put the Sling Studio into OBS to you know, like control the graphics. This is how my brain is wired. Um, like the iPad did overheat on us. But, the good thing is, um, with the iPad, with the Slim Studio, if the iPad dies on you, it's still gonna, sh it's still gonna scream. It's still gonna do its thing. You just can't switch or anything or control audio on it. But it's still gonna work no matter what.
we had to make it as user friendly as possible. Yeah. Yeah. We use the restream dashboard plugin. Mm -hmm. You can change your stream titles and stuff right on the OBS dashboard. It's really real helpful. That's cool. Yeah, I mean
not everybody moved, but it at least created that capacity for people to come in, participate in the meeting, and then move out. So um, that's kind of the area where we can all support that uh, that initiative by just offloading that traffic. And I look at it, well, you look at something like Capture Two um, as a great marketing tool, but it creates a media outreach tool. Because if you're using Google, Facebook, I'm already using both Facebook and YouTube. But Facebook, if you like or follow our page, guess what? We'll go live again. But it's more, you can share that with more people. Yeah, we went to the YouTube way back. We, we, got, we didn't do much on Facebook because our, our comments that we were getting back was, I want to create an account to watch this, but I want to be able to just watch it. And so, exactly. Like, we exactly. just did it on YouTube and, and share the link on Facebook. And when, when people come up to me and ask when from uh, the away team, like, okay, where are you streaming this? Or I'll even go up to a coach and say, hey, we're streaming this on the VPN support YouTube channel. So much easier to say. Right. Um, when, uh, when you're streaming, are you generally just just getting go and streaming, or are you creating events for each stream? We're streaming and going. Yeah. We we keep it simple. Yeah. Um, we could do events we really 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 wanted to, but like I said, we're a small staff. We have maybe two and a half people. We're doing ten thousand different things all at once. Yeah. Um, so it, it's easier to. Go. We do. We do make um, once I hire a social media person, um, we will. We will go back to making our daily and our weekly posts and let people know what's going on. Um, usually, what we do is if we give all the information. You know, where the, if where the meeting is happening, what are the new credentials, um, where's the sports game happening, um, all that fun stuff. Yeah. Are you managing the Zoom? Yeah. Only the whole committee. And it's a door for commission, actually. Um, right up and down. Um, but, uh, but otherwise, everyone else does. There's the town has a go to meeting, which is awful, um, in my opinion. But, uh, but everyone uses a. Uh, but the town uses a go to meeting mainly except for like board health. And we uh, do hire. Yeah, well, no, I know, like, YouTube, like, um, some of the streaming things that we have, we have to hit stream, like, stop streaming on, on the, uh, we've got an ad that deal with, we have to hit stream over there, but then we have to log into YouTube and hit stop streaming over there, too, so it's kind of like a couple things. Exactly. But not here. Mm hmm And remember when we were talking about chats and all that fun stuff? Well, the other thing I'm paying attention to is, um, you guys can't see it, but, um, on the bottom here, it'll tell you how healthy your stream is. Um, if it's green, your stream is healthy. Um, if there's, see, down here, drop green. Um, if, I, if I see it going higher than like 10%, I freak out. Um, and it'll also tell you how much uh, CPU you're using. It really seems like you're 10% right now. And you can go in and change the stream output on the fly or not? You can change the bit rate. So say, let me go here. No, I want to go here. So like, you can't change. Yeah. Can't change that. You can't change any of that. You can't change any of that, right? So you can go in here.
say your your stream is not healthy, you need to uh, slow down a bit rate. Right? If we're worried about getting down to uh, 1280 by 720. Right. So you can bog the bit rate down. They want to bog it down to 25,000 or 500 because we have to we have to do that. So press OK to make sure that the settings in, and then and then it should just show all the way over. Yeah, I mean, it's like more, it, think of it as like, we're a doctor, this is the patient. Um, <laughs> every, every, or the stream stop, every, or the facility is the patient. Every facility is different. Every Wi Fi connection is different. And if you're using guest Wi Fi, which you which try to avoid, um, the more people ask you, the more people on it, um, the, the less reliable it's going to be. Have you seen issues with, uh, like, Sometimes in restream, I'll get a warning that the keyframing is is that like you do, yeah. like you're sending 1.47 keyframes per second or something rather than two, even though I have a set to two in OBS. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, I think it's I think it's, it's, it it's powder sending it out because like right now we're sending out a, a random stream. This, this stream out to a server in New York, right? And then that New York server is going to do two different servers, so it could be it could be anything really. I mean I don't know the answer. Yeah. I mean it doesn't seem to be we get we get the same thing and I just ignore it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like you're, you're telling me there's a problem. I've, I've like, like email support <laughs> and they're like, oh just ignore it. So now it's like yeah. <laughs> you're the one that put it in there. I'm gonna get right now. <laughs> yeah. Good point though. I mean uh when we go to YouTube, if you don't your T frame set to two, it will even give you warning that you're Thank you. 
rates that pretty high, the thousand, and your key frame is two hundred fifty. Is that a reason for that, or is it something you guys around with? We're sure we're still messing around with this. Yeah. Really, I mean, we're trying to we we're trying to mess around. We're trying to be as perfect as possible. Um, I also set too high to answer myself sometimes. Yeah. Um, so we're we're still researching. Other people have other opinions. So you just have to mess around and just do your best. Because obviously, the lower or higher the bit rate is, the more grade you can get, or more. In the higher the bit rate, obviously, the, the bigger the file size. Right. But like I said, no one really cares about the new, like they care about the your kid uh, slides and stuff. And uh, we've also turned into a little bit of a money maker. So um, the sports we're actually uh, making it so that um, if you want to highlight reels for to get into Division One school, we can provide that. Hundred dollars space, and then twenty five dollars an hour for uh, editing, which doesn't take that long to edit. So at top, you're probably paying two hundred, and that's nothing compared to some of these other companies that are doing sports. I do a lot of freelance um, videography over companies, and they're charging like three four hundred dollars. So and we get you, we get you the whole team. How do you edit one particular kid's video when you've got hours of game footage? Right, because it's a great question. So they have to be very important. So they have to pick the place that they want in. Um, so I tell them, okay, you have to go throughout the season, and you have to select which ones you want. And they have to let us know. So you, you, have, you have to get us the uh, time codes and everything. Because I don't know your kids, and there are 250 <laughs> kids in this, uh, the athletic program all together. For all the season. Um, I don't know all your they uh, they choose the music as well. Um, we haven't been there yet. Oh, okay. Um, we did one so far, and they didn't request music. Um, they were really focused on a five-minute video to send to a college coach. Although, if you wanted like a keepsake, you probably could do music. Uh, we have an Epidemic account on the description, so. Yeah. At Epidemic account, and we also have a. Uh, I'm probably gonna butcher it, but then in Vado, in Vado. Battle. Yeah, we have some battle which uh, videos have played. You have your videos have played, but that's other things too. Yeah, so. Yeah. Well, we paid for it because we wanted the videos have played. Mm -hmm. Our friends have wanted it, so. Yeah, we got it. For that. Um, so, what's the big difference if there is a bunch of difference between these streaming and the I don't think there's really like a lot of software, um, well, it's the same really. Like I've heard that Da Vinci and like Adidas and does whatever it's called. It's like similar, and there's like lawsuits and all that. Um, I've heard of like mental health plat, but like virtual mental health uh, some companies getting mad at each other because they're using they're using the same exact same format that they're using. I mean, software is tricky like that. Everyone uses There is like a studio element to capture. Uh, like Restream has, you know, like a. Um, I haven't messed with it. Like it's like switching within Restream. Just make it work like for for them. I haven't messed with it. Like, um, I'm gonna just try to turn the uh, sound up real quick so he's not he's not speaking over it. Um. So like we do everything. Yeah, we all love the MIA here, 
show it. You can cover it, but you can't show it for 48. If they're not there, it's 20 hours. But if the game's at 7 o'clock at night, you usually able to play it right away the next morning anyway. So it's been okay, but it is difficult to navigate these waters. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so you, so you yeah. can't stream it, so you upload the recording to the be printer. What if you're doing the job after the night? Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you.